day one of Autosports International, Europe's biggest motorsport show, is back with a renewed vigour for a new generation of motorsport fans. Yeah, and for two days, this show is dedicated to business. You know, the UK automotive sector is worth a whopping £74 billion, wow. pounds, expected to bring around £350 million pounds worth of deals here over the four days. Wowza, mm. we're also going to be checking out the latest innovations in motorsport technology and, of course, meeting some of the key players in motorsport business. We're also going to take a sneak peek at some of the features, but really, if you can get down here this weekend, you should. So here's what's coming up. I'll be exploring some of the latest engineering innovations at the Engineering Show. We'll be giving you a glimpse of some of the amazing motors you can get up close and personal with this weekend. And we'll get a sneak peek at this year's infamous live action arena. Featuring some of the most extreme creations from around the United Kingdom, the Performance and Tuning Car Show has it all, from this absolutely stunning Gibbs Bentley Special through to the iconic and bonkers pink Lamborghini Performante, and Cream Developments also showed off some of their most jaw-dropping creations. But it isn't just Cream Developments that are turning heads. Oh no, Skin Tack, Total Head Turners, and M Style are also here, to name a few. I guess we try and achieve um, tasteful uh, modification, but we also do uh, suspension, brakes, exhaust, tuning. Um, you can see by the cars we've got here uh, this week, basically make them look better than they were from the factory, is what you try and do. So we buy and sell all makes and sort of manufacturers of Cobras, uh, varying from, uh, we've got Dax here, uh, we've got Sir Crendon. Built about 10 years ago by an eccentric millionaire who just wanted to be able to drive to uh, the local co-op and also compete at uh, Silverstone. We specialise in PPF, vehicle wrapping and window tinting we're based in Telford and shop should be going about 21 22 years now so a long time the inner tech just looks like paint and you you can't really tell it's not paint which is really nice don't forget this weekend there is the UK top tuned car competition with the winner voted by you being revealed on Saturday but you can see the cars all over the Saturday and the Sunday. Now the finalists as I say voted by you are the Vauxhall Astra VXR Mark 5 of Simon Kelly the Ford Focus ST Mark 4 belonging to Sam Wells and the Ford Escort Mexico Mark II of Andy Devine. Like I say, you can see the winner being revealed Saturday morning. You can check out the cars for yourself and see what you need to do to your own car to maybe a potential winner in 2024. Who knows? It could be you. Still to come, we'll be finding out what the season has in store from the boss of Motorsport UK. We'll be putting you in the picture with the amazing Motorsports artist. And checking in with the live action arena as they prepare for an action packed weekend. Nerd, the engineering show is one of my favorite parts here at Autosport International and that's because this is where you get to find out about all the cutting-edge technology and leading innovations being developed in the world of motorsports and automotive and here's just a few that caught my eye. And did you think that you'd ever find yourself here in this position driving for Williams? Uh, not really. <laughs> when I started out, I, I wanted to do great, you know, like many people, but yeah, it, it's led me to do stuff like this, so it's great. This scanner works uh, by seeing the targets, 
and then it can see how far or where it's moving in space. These are carbon-carbon on this car. It's uh, similar to Formula One technology, that's what they use. It self-sets. You go the direction, the more pressure you apply going that way, the tighter this jaw gets onto the head. This is just a full carbon-carbon brake and carbon-carbon pads. There's a clear direction of what the products are, what they do. And it also then has these blue lasers, so it has 30 lasers, and they pick up what the surface profile is. So there you go, just a small glimpse into what you can find here at the engineering show. It really is an awe-inspiring place to be, somewhere where you can get hands-on, see, touch, feel, and ask questions to the people who are actually working on these cutting-edge innovations. It's certainly a part of the show not to be missed. Color, Ian Cook, an amazing artist. You've uh, been around for a, quite a lot of time doing what you do, but tell us what you do that's so bizarre. So I'm known for painting with radio control cars, and that's why I've been at Autosport doing that since 2009. So yeah, kind of 15, 16 years now. Painting cars with cars. Now, you might be watching this thinking, hang on a minute, paint cars with paintbrushes or with spray cans, but you do actually paint cars with cars. Talk us through your process. Yeah, so I, I, I put paint onto the canvas or the paper, and the car runs through it, spreads the paint to create the artwork. So we've got some artworks on display here that have been done that way, but I also draw as well. So I do something called continuous car drawing. So I've converted this car into a mobile studio. So I draw inside the studio, and uh, yeah, it's now, yeah, it's what, that's where I live for the weekend. No matter what your favorite car is, I'm pretty certain Ian has drawn one, but it's not just cars that you're, you're kind of focused in on too, because right here is a one-of-one, a, -of -one, a custom creation featuring some of your work. Yes, yeah, so this is a, a custom BMW motorcycle by Ace Motorcycles, and it's a collab piece, so I've done the tank and the fender, and this is a, a retro bike, but it's got all the modern running gear, so all the electrics, uh, you'll see LED lights, so this is a custom-built bike, um, and it was a, a project we did together, so it's really cool to have it properly on display for the first time, it's not been seen before, um, so yeah, it's, I hope people like it. I absolutely love it, I, yeah, that one might be um, disappearing overnight. <laughs> There are lots of cars on the stand as well, and these are cars that have uh, featured in your work. Yeah, so I've drawn them, in, you, know, you know, the ones that I've drawn, they're generally of these companies. So Tom and Motorsport, known for their 205 GTIs, they've bought the, this classic Lotus down. We've got the Nemesis Mustang, which is a track use Mustang. Uh, we've got the, uh, the Hawkeye Subaru, which is a pro drive car, so it's got a bit of rally heritage. Uh, and then we've got my van, which is a Sharp as well, a Lamborghini, a TCR, and a Porsche as well. There's so much to see on your stand. You've got the continuous drawings, you've got the uh, the paintings here with the cars, but you've also got a lot of merchandise. So if you like have a favorite car, you can get a drawing that you've done of that car. You can get a mug, you can get a pin badge. What else can you get? Uh, stickers, pin badges, um, t-shirts, metal prints, whole lot. So you've also got things like, obviously you've got the Ken Block tribute pieces behind you over there as well. Um, so yeah, you can you can come down and um, hopefully between 1,600 drawings and about 600 paintings, hopefully got got you covered. I think hopefully. Amazing stuff. Now, if you want to check this out, if you're at the show, come and see Ian, aka Popman Color. Come and see him. Check out all of his work. You can't miss him. It's the brightest thing here, I'm pretty sure, apart from the pink Lambo just over there. But uh, on top of that, if you want to check out your work online, you're all over social media. But where should people go? Yeah, it's Popman Color on everything. So. TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, all of it. Check it out, Instagram, obviously. Um, and yeah, come down and say hi. Yeah, thank you very much. It's a real pleasure. Do check him out because the work here is fantastic. And I guarantee whichever car you love, you'll find a version of it here. And I'm here with David Dupont now from Cosworth. It's just done me a fantastic deal on one of these aerial hypercars, I wish. David, thank you for talking to us. No Tell us about your involvement with this absolutely stunning, I have to say, car. Thank you very much. Um, yes, it was, a, it, was a, it was an APC uh, uh, bid with various British companies um, led by Ariel. Um, Cosworth um, put, 
proportion of the of the project was uh, the integration of the electrical system, the battery design and management and control of that. It uses the the Cosworth CSM module, which is our uh, scalable uh, battery module that we use for this. Um, it has in four-wheel drive form about 1,180 1, brake horsepower, oh, and in and in two-wheel drive form it has around 550 brake horsepower. It's pretty um, isn't it? Lots yeah. of 60 in just over two seconds, I believe. This is why yes. I want one of these. If people aren't convinced by electric, I think if they come down here and feast their eyes on this, they may just change their mind. What about what do you think? Yeah, I mean it, it's it's really interesting. Um, the development will will continue ongoing. Um, the range is is considerable. Um, and um, it has all the latest technology that Cosworth put into it. Um, and uh, Ariel will no doubt take this and going into production at some point. So we're very excited about the whole project. And um, it, it shows Ariel's expertise and um, all the, the, uh, the technology that, that they have and the aerodynamics of the vehicle and the electronic side of, of Cosworth has all been put into this. It's excellent, isn't it? I mean, it, it does have that Batmobile feel to it, doesn't it? It, it really does. is incredible. It's and as if on cue, there's David there opening go. up so we can have a look inside. As you see, this is a um, running prototype uh, vehicle, so it's not completely finished, um, but it has been doing a, a reasonable amount of, of testing and development work. Um, and uh, so, yeah, as you can see, it's um, nearly nearly the finished article, shall we say. Hey, have you had a chance to have a look around? Yeah. Um, <sighs> It's, it's, I've been here for the last 20 years uh, on and off and um, it, uh, it's a great show uh, to meet and greet and to show people's um, latest technology. Um, we've even got our other um, car here um, which is the, the Envisage EVN uh, two, electric two-seater that we've got here uh, that we're involved in. So it's, it's a great it's it's a great show at the start of the year um, to to let everybody know about all your latest innovations and in technology. Absolutely, bring everyone together after a little yeah. a two two year break. Tell us about this then, because you've been involved in this, as you just alluded to. Then, what's your role in all of this, Ben? Um, we've been working with Envision Virgin Racing and uh, EVM. Um, we've designed uh, the uh, the battery for this vehicle um, and uh, the integration and. Uh, and been a part of this whole project, um, which has been very exciting because it's the first um, showing, shall we say, um, of the electric two-seater. Um, it was first shown at the uh, COP26 in 2021 in November um, to promote uh, green racing and uh, electrification. And um, it just gives a great opportunity to, you know, to, to be able to show uh, more of the work that we do here at Cosworth. Absolutely. You've got a pretty cool job, you, haven't you? It's not too bad. <laughs> Just it's not those too bad. Pinch me moments where you think, yeah. how did I end up doing this? You know, it's 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 pretty good actually. It's quite nice. It's quite varied as well, um, especially with the divisions that we have at Cosworth, which is the powertrain, electronics, and the electrification side. So we can cater for most things. Cool. Got your finger on the pulse of what we can expect in the future. Thank you very much, David. Really no appreciate problem. your time here today. As I say, come along here to the EV uh, showcase. We've got loads of fantastic vehicles, not just these two that David's very kindly showed us around. We've got the Extreme E vehicle over there as well. Going to be finding out more about that a little bit later on. And uh, go and have a little nosy around, see what else is going on the show. So we'll, uh, we'll see you shortly. To find out what's going on in motorsport in 2023 and beyond, you can't really avoid Motorsport UK. Why would you? Hugh Chambers is here. He's the CEO of Motorsport UK, and he's going to tell us everything that we need to know. To start with, it's great to see you. It's great to be back. Thank you. No, it's fantastic, isn't it? Three years since we were last here. Uh, I don't think any of us knew what the world was about to unleash on us, um, but we made it through. As a very bronzed person who just made it back from Barbados back then, it was a very different time. Now, Motorsport UK, you've had to deal with that changing landscape, and it really was a changing landscape and an immediate changing landscape. Do you feel we're out of it, or are there still moments where we're looking back to that time? Well, there's positives and negatives. I mean, there's uh, a little bit of a, a hangover, I suppose, in terms of people haven't returned quite on the same level that they did before the pandemic across all the different disciplines. But in some areas, like circuit racing, in 2022, we actually had more license holders than we did in 2019. In fact, a record number. So actually, there's some good news that have come out of it. What do you think the, the driving factor was, the driving force between that upsurge? I think to some extent, there was a built-up demand. I mean, I think people were forced to hang up their helmets for a long period of time and they probably didn't spend their money, so they had a little bit more money in the bank account, and uh, they, they got out there when they could last year. 
Now, I've touched upon Motorsport UK being the governing body, really, in charge of what we see out on circuits as well. Tell us a little bit about Motorsport UK, the background of the company and the organisation. Well, the governing body for motorsport in this country is Motorsport UK. And like all governing bodies, the bedrock of what we do is rules and regulations. We're here to make sure that the sport is safe and that it's fair, but also fun. And the fun bit is really, really important to us because for most people in this country, 60,000 license holders, it's a leisure activity, it's their hobby, it's their pastime, and they pay for it out of their own pocket. So it better be fun, otherwise they're not going to carry on doing it. So a huge amount of what we do is promoting the sport to new audiences, trying to cut through the red tape and the bureaucracy at the same time as keeping it safe and fair. I learned to drift in a, a very old Lexus on an airstrip and it was the most fun I've had in a car ever and probably the cheapest form because the tyres were used, everything was you know used, it was a fantastic thing. So Motorsport UK, it's great you've got a presence here. Why do you have such a big presence here at the show? Well, we're here to connect with the community. As I said, we need to make sure that we bring new people into the sport and we connect with new audiences. Uh, the show, of course, is sort of spread over the two trade days and then over the weekend is really when we hope to get a lot of people turning up here. And you can see the banner at the top of the stand is Your Motorsport Starts Here. And it is very much, this is the entry point. If you want to come and find out what could I do in motorsport, I've got a budget uh, at this level. Uh, I'm, I'm really interested to get involved in something that's a, a time trial or against com com competing against other competitors on a track. Uh, what, what sort of vehicle do I need? What sort of equipment do I need? Uh, we can give all of that sort of advice. Great to hear you. Thank you so much for chatting to us. There you go. Motorsport, very, very safe hands of Motorsport UK with Hugh at the helm. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Absolutely, I'll say. I really hope that you've enjoyed our highlight show here. I know I think I can safely speak on behalf of Bryn and I when I say that we have, and we hope that we'll see you here next year. Yeah, exactly. ASI 24 is back on the 11th of January through to the 14th of Jan next year, and we hope to see you there.